What it do, what it do, what it do. The fight between Telefino Lopez and George Camboza. Lopez said the fight will not go past three rounds. I beg the difference right after this. Your boy, KQKC Boxing Network. Yes, I am. And you know what? We got to talk about it. But first, I must say, this video is dedicated to all my subscribers. Everyone on my network that support the channel. Lord knows we need it. And when I mean we, I'm talking about me and my daughter that's in a sophomore at the University of Indiana, University at Terre Haute. And also, we're going to be doing some new things with the channel. We'll have a new look, but it's going to take time and it takes a, a few dollars. But that's okay. I'm not one of them money hungry motherfuckers, all right? I'm not one of them motherfuckers that say, hey, I won't be in. Uh, 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 I'm not going on tomorrow, all right? I'll see y'all next week. I'll see y'all the next day. No, I'm going to leave you with something. I'm going to leave you with something called Telefino motherfucking Lopez, right? Versus uh, 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 George Cambosa, all right? Now, you know about talking shit. You know about clout chasing. You know about trying to get attention towards you and the fight. You know, sell the fight. You know, like Anthony Joshua told Tyson Fury. Uh, 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 hey, look, just shut up and sell the fight. Motherfucker, ain't no fight. Ain't no venue. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, Tyson Fury, you know, he's dumb as a box of rocks and drug addict and alcoholic. All mixed in motherfucking one. N.A. and A.A. They fighting on which one getting his ass. All right. But anyway, he said, how long we been waiting on this uh, venue? Uh, 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 one, two, three. You know how little kids count. One, two, three. That's how that motherfucker is. Floyd, too. <laughs> Shit. But anyway, Camboza. We can't ignore this. He wants to knock out and Telefino, I'm sorry, want to knock out Camboza in the third round. Well, I got news for you, young man. I got news for you, son. Because, see, I'm 54. And you are still wet behind the motherfucking ears. You're not going to knock him out in the third round unless you got a nucky punch. But Cam Bozer is no motherfucking uh, uh, Scrooge. He is no motherfucking Walmart greeter. His back against the wall. When your back against the wall, you don't have nothing to lose. I mean, not a damn thing to lose. Always use that example. That uh, 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 if your back is against the wall, just like a mice, all right? Like that, I, I don't have any, but I'm just saying, you know, hey, you know, you know what it is. We see movies and shit, right? Now, they either going to find a way to get out, which normally they can't if you got them cornered. They going to bite your ass and tell a fin Lopez. You thought that you were doing something oh so spectacular that you uh 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 uh, uh rather fight Camboza than get Lomo a rematch because you got faith in Lomachenko. Not you. You got faith in Lomachenko because you know Lomachenko ain't gonna take two losses in a motherfucking row. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And Camboza. 
he like he said, he been talking shit too. But his is legit. He said, I don't have nothing to lose. And tell him Fino Lopez has some flaws that I'm going to expose. And I can't wait to see that. All right? Now, uh, 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 George Cambosa is not a mandatory for, uh, 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 for no reason at all. Cambosa is a mandatory because he earned it. It wasn't handed to him. Now, I'm not going to say what was handed to him. Uh, uh, like some other people, shit was handed to him. Some people that's protected. Like Canelo. I can say his name. Because he been doing that shit for years. Since Floyd gave him a motherfucking a boxing lesson. Oscar took him and said, hey, look. All right, don't worry about it. All right, you'll never face a fighter that talented, that fundamentally sound ever again. So there you go. See, they were so much worried about losing old belts. They brought in the old, old Mr. Rubio. He been knowing them for a while now. And they need him for the defense. Because see, Telefino don't have that defense tight. You see, anybody can break through that defense that he carries. We already seen it. I already gave you an example of how Lomachenko teed off on his ass. Besides facing him, covering up, high end, high guard, put the M ups on, hold a damn phone. You know, why are you on against the road? But what he does, he turns to the right and shell up like a bitch. That's what he did. Hello. Oh, hello. Somebody talk to me. Anyway. I'm going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. I know this is a video, but fuck that. All right? I ain't going to be on today, so I might as well go ahead and talk. Right? I got to leave you with something. You are my family. And I hope that I am looked at as one of you all family. And that's what family do. I ain't no drive-by motherfucker creator to say I won't be in. No, I'm going to leave you with something. First, I left you with a premiere. Then I left you with another video. Then another premiere. Hello. Oh, oh, somebody talk to me. Now. Let me get this out the way. Telefino Lopez said his opponent, George Camboza Jr., won't make it past the third round when the two meet in the main event on Triller Pay Per View. All right? And that's on June the 5th. Triller, the entertainment platform. You have a rock motherfucker concert. Then you have a, a little boxing. Motherfucker might think it's the WWE, but it is real boxing. You got Snoop Doggy Dog with the gray hair now. You said, but on Gene and Jew, oh, laid back. You know, don't know shit about boxing, but a lot about music. Now, I don't know how that works hand in hand. Maybe Adrian Broning can figure out he wanted to be a rapper. He wanted to be a motherfucking boxer. Oh, he wanted to be a motherfucking promoter. He wanted to wear all the hats. And guess what? He ain't wearing either one of them right now. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm giving you no facts, baby. I'm giving you no facts. All right? Now, first... That boxing fans, they don't know or they don't remember that Telefinos also predicted a knockout of Lomachenko back in October. Instead, the one on Lomachenko, because he did have a bad shoulder, came close to scoring a stoppage 
in the second half of the fight. You see, that scared his ass. You see. And he know that when he's 100%, Lomachenko probably will whoop his ass. Because it could have went either motherfucking way with a one-armed man. I'm sorry, Mr. Lopez. See, it's levels. That old cliche. Oh, yes, it is. It's levels to this game, to this sport, to this combat sport. And it's time. Oh, it's time for you to admit that you are not at that particular level. Sure, you won the belt. Congratulations. Hooray, her motherfucking hooray. But I'll tell you one thing. Oh, I'm going to tell you another thing. How long? Oh, not long. I said, how long? Not long. I said, how long? <laughs> ah, shit. Are you going to keep the belts? Because, see, it's easy to get the bitches. Not so easy, but when you do get them, it's even harder to keep them. Just as Rosario. Just as uh, 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 Julian J. Rock. All right? Just ask, just ask them. You know, I just threw that out for example. But some people hold the belt for one goddamn fight and lose from the next one. So be careful. Oh, be careful. When you talking about he won't make it past the third round. Hey, that shit can work both ways, motherfucker. It can work both ways. Now, Lopez, 16-0. and 0, All right? 16-0. and 0. And at that time, his top ranked, number one baby, has already talked to his dad, Mr. Telefino Sr., about his own personal prediction. And he's saying that the fight will be over in three rounds. Okay. All right. I like, I like, I like, I like a fighter that thinks big. I like for a fighter with great, great confidence. Because sometimes your confidence pays off. But not in this case. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Because Mr. Camboza is not going out like that. He said he's going out on his shield. If it had to be his back or his motherfucking stomach. Huh? You know, like uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao. Huh? On his face. Stomach. All right? Or like Dylan White on his motherfucking back. Or motherfucking head. <laughs> wow. Uh, so, I'm telling you right now, uh, 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 Telefino Lopez, he will be defending the IBF, the WBC, and the WBO lightweight titles against the highly, now listen to this, the highly motivated Camboza, who is 19 and 0. Motherfucker, you're getting 19 and 0 for no reason. Now, I get it. You know, resumes sometimes come into play. I get that, all right? I feel that, all right? But you might be fighting a different breed. You see? See, Telefino Lopez, he can punch. Yes, he can. He can do a motherfucking backwards flip. He can do that, too. That don't make a fucking difference, neither one. See, as the late, great Roger Mayweather always said, this is a thinking man's game. And one thing uh, a motherfucking Lopez don't have, that ring IQ, that thinking man's game. And let me tell you why. First of all, he making moves on Al Heyman. Unappro I mean, uh, 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 Bob Aaron. Pamper Bob, otherwise. And moves like that don't turn out great. That's not very smart. Especially when a motherfucker own your ass, because you might as well say you own your ass, for another three years. Yeah. Sure, you can buy your contract. Oh, that's no problem. Hell, Floyd did it. 
with the help of Al Heyman. But what if Bob said, hey, you know what? Fuck you. But I ain't letting you go. How about that? Tell them promoters, keep their goddamn money. All right? Your ass is stuck with me for the next three years. And guess where you're going to be at? <laughs> Don't fuck with Bob Aaron. I'm going to tell you right now. Like I told my subscribers. All right? Like I told everybody that listened to me. Bob Aaron been doing this shit for 35 plus motherfucking years. They say he's 89, but I know for a fact he put his age back twice. He's 92 years old. And you think a motherfucker going to sit there and change their mind? And fall in love with you? Hell no. Baby shoes. Baby shoes. Lomachenko. Wonder where a size 2 shoe. All right? Now, now, he's, he's motherfucker, uh, 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 Bob Aaron, motherfucker, love one. He's Bob Aaron, number one guy. He's Bob Aaron, little son, huh? You better wake the motherfucker up. Because if they can box out Shakira Stevenson, they sure going to put your ass out. And now, being cocky, cloud chaser. Being basically just an asshole is not going to rise your ass up to the occasion. Now, think about it, my brothers and sisters. Walk with me. Oh, talk with me. Huh? A backwards flip is not going to help your ass unless you want to be a jester for Triller TV. Triller TV is a fucking joke. I said it. Yes, I did. It's a bunch of millionaires put money in the pot just like PBC. But PBC don't have the motherfucking concerts. They don't have the motherfucking drums and guitars and horns and motherfucking Snoop Doggy yeah, Dog drinking on gin and juice. Uh huh. Lay back. My money on my mind and my mind on my money. Yeah, right. Uh huh. Yeah. Y'all all remember when he was sitting there, uh, uh, Roy Jones and Mike Tyson fighting, and he's sitting there, oh, get her, Roy, Roy, you gonna let him do that to you, Roy? Oh, great commentating. Huh? What monster stool that? Huh? I bet that little white woman could do better than your ass. Huh? When she get through calling motherfucking niggas. <laughs> Ooh, did I say that? Ooh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend no one. Wink, wink. Now, Telefino Lopez, like I said, he gonna be defending them belts, all right? Now, he gonna be defending them belts right there on the 5th of um, June at the Marlins Stadium in Miami, Florida, all right? Now, 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 hopefully, Telefino doesn't get too hung up on trying to knock out Cambodia because he will be trying to take his head off now, Telefino Lopez is Cambo's uh, Super Bowl, all right? This fight is Cambo's moment in the sun, and he may not get another chance. So that's what I'm trying to tell you all. This is Cambo's pretty much last chance to shine. His back is against the wall. He's a mice. He's a mice just trapped. And he will bite your ass. In other words, he's hungry than a motherfucker. He's hungry. He's hungry for success. He's hungry for a belt. He don't want all of them. He'll take just one. He'll take half of one. He's 19 and old, my people. He wants to win something. He wants to go in the Hall of Fame for something. Oh, talk to me. Huh? KQK motherfucking C. Ain't gonna lie to you. KQ motherfucking C. Gonna keep it real. That's one thing you can say about this creator. I don't pull no punches. I fact check my shit. I don't jump the gun. 
I wait for the gun to get reloaded. And then when the gun fire off the real motherfucking truth, then I open my big ass mouth. Huh? Oh, hello. Oh, did I did I hurt somebody's feelings? Hello. But before I close on this video, and I don't care how long it is. Shit. Now, tell the Fino Lopez, you better watch your mouth. Now, Cambos, he said maybe a week ago, less than that, that the WBC, first of all, they full of shit. And he told uh, 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 Devin Haney, you should have deleted that motherfucking email. Ain't nobody going to send you an email and tell, oh, you a champion? We decided to make you a champion. Motherfucker, you can't make a trip over my house? Motherfucker, you going to send me an email? Motherfucker, you can't call me on the phone at least? You know my number, son of a bitch. He's crooked, Eddie Hines crooked, and Bob Aaron crooked. And goddamn it, Al Hammond, you better watch your motherfucking steps too. I told you, I told you, I don't follow no motherfucking narrative. I am. Oh shit, I am. KQ. K motherfucker C. And I come on every day. Every day at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. Oh, 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 yes, I do. Then Saturday mornings, whatever we talked about, from Monday to Friday, whatever fight that's coming on that night, call in and talk to the singing OG. Call in and tell me what's on your mind. Call in and tell me how many much or how much money that you bet on the fight. Huh? That's one thing about KQKC. I'm a realist as it gets. Yeah, I know. I get it. I'm from the inner city. All right. But we in the inner city, motherfuckers, we know how to talk to motherfuckers in the one way. Oh, shit. Or the other way. If you know what I mean. And while we on that subject, I get tired of motherfuckers acting like they from the inner city. Knowing goddamn well, they're not. And another thing, stop trying to act like KQKC. Y'all act like my motherfucking whole show is nothing but cursing and shit. Now everybody want to sit there and curse and this and that. Motherfucker, I know how to talk. But I come from a long line. And I come from an area where we all speak like this. So change your tune, find your own lane, and stay out of other motherfucking lane, huh? Find your own lane and stay out of mine. Once again, I am KQ, and shout out, and shout out to the all, oh, to the almighty LDBC, the Lions Den Boston community. If you don't know, oh. oh Oh, now you know. And I greet you with your ancient word of peace. <laughs> yes, I do. And it's Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum. Man, you go in peace. It's alaikum. Salam, baby. Huh? And with that, I'm out of here. I got to pray, motherfucker, uh, 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 granddaddy, granddaddy to the teacher and to my grandkids. That's why I'm off today, replacing my daughter as she work. And I stand in for it at the parent teaching conference for my two grandbabies. What we would do for our grandkids, what we'll do for our kids. I thank God that all my daughters went through college. I have one daughter left and she's a sophomore in the University of Indiana. Those where the super chats go. Those where they go. That's why she came over here and on here and said thank you. See, I have, oh, I have proof. I have a voice 
I don't have nothing written down or nothing like that that anybody could write down. So with that, I'm out of here. And I'll catch you on the next one. And don't forget, I will be here tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. And we're going to talk about this and some more shit. Don't sleep on Camboza. Don't sleep on Camboza. That's all I'm going to say. And with that, I'm out of here. Peace and love. And I'm on to the next one.